everyone, welcome to Solo Quest. I am Ed, your usual host here on the channel. Uh, so today I'm going to be bring, bringing you a bit of a different uh, playthrough here. We're going to have a full playthrough, full solo playthrough of Loop. Uh, so Loop stands for, well, as you have it right here on the box, the life of ordinary people. Uh, Loop will be coming to Kickstarter very, very soon on April uh, the 2nd. And I was asked to do a full solo, solo playthrough of the game. And that's what we are going to have here on the channel today. So Loop is a, a game made uh, by, it, it is a curious game. It is made by Blackbody uh, Labs, uh, who are, well, not your traditional uh, board game company. So they uh, are making what they call a serious card game. So Loop Basically, um, we will is going to represent the life of uh, of an ordinary people, uh, an ordinary person. Uh, we're basically going through the loop uh, that is rep what this game is trying to re represent is the loop of our lives, uh, where we we have to work to buy the stuff that makes us happy. We have to consume the, all of that to be happy, um, but work makes us unhappy. So it's basically a loop. Uh, that we will be experiencing uh, in this game, which it, it is what it is trying to represent, um, where there is this loop of work and happiness being generated uh, to get uh, uh, money, to get the things that make us happy. All right. So that is pretty much the, the concept or the message that uh, Blackbody is trying to send here, or at least that I, I understood from Loop. And it, it is an interesting idea. And we have... Uh, Part of the game already set up here on the table. Um, this, these are all uh, prototype components. Okay, this is not representative of uh, either the final art or the final quality of the game. So uh, please take a look at the Kickstarter page to see uh, the quality of the final product. If anything will be unlocked during the campaign, I'm really not sure myself. But yeah, have a look at it if uh, if you think this is an interesting idea and if you uh, think the game will be interesting from the playthrough you are about to see. All right, so as I was saying, this is uh, pretty much uh, a lot of the components are already set up here on the table. We have our uh, well central board here where we will keep track of a lot of things and we have our little player board right here. So just as a quick summary, a quick rules intro into the game just so you know what we are basically doing here okay so first things first we need the first thing we need to do here is to choose a, a career to to use in the game to to symbolize who we are in this game in this loop of life so basically i'm going to shuffle there's a lot of careers in here uh, these are the ones that are compatible to, with solo mode uh, there's a few more in the box okay that are used in the multiplayer because this game has more than the solo mode of course, there is a competitive mode and there's also a co cooperative mode uh, besides this solo mode. So there's a lot of modes here that you can play. So for these, I'm just going to shuffle them. I'm going to draw, oops, two. I'll just place them right here. All right, so we've got the craftsman and the banker. Now we're going to have to choose one of these to actually use in the game. So the craftsman here um, has, so we at the top here, we have our uh, starting uh, rewards. So craftsman starts with one money and this little square here represents the materials we are going to get while playing, which are these little cards here. They have different qualities. Basically these dots are, means that it's a quality to material, uh, same as the banker. Then right below it, this is the reward if we choose the action work. Uh, so the craftsman gets uh, quite a bit of work. Once per turn, change one of your other materials into a non-food. And the banker, once per turn, may give a money to a player and take one from him or give him one and take that. Okay, so this would allow us to use our reputation, which is a currency we don't really, I don't think we actually use it in solo. So I I'll go with the craftsman in here. Okay, so we're going to be using the craftsman we're going to place our career card right here on the side of our player board okay we're going to be placing uh this is our happiness track we're going to start on three all right we always start on three unless we take the intern which is like a default career uh it's on the back of all of the cards uh, of the the custom career cards but i prefer always to take one of these custom ones all right so there we go we've chosen our uh, character so now we are going to set up everything else, but basically just 
to explain you uh, how this game is usually played. Uh, well, the objective here is to get to 12 happiness. That's what we want to do, okay? This will trigger the end of the game. Another thing that might trigger the end of the game if we actually consume all of the material uh, that uh, is available at the start of the game, uh, I mean during the game, and then we will reach a depletion state, which means we've basically consumed everything there was to consume, which is not good, and that will trigger the end of the game and will actually give us a little penalty here. So, to start the game, we're going to have a set of, uh, of these materials, so one of each is going to go right here, okay, and circle the material deck. So I've just picked basically one of each color, I've placed them there, now I'm just going to give, I'm just giving this a little shuffle, and I'm going to place it right there, on top, okay? So this is our material deck, this is, uh, well, basically materials that we will be able to buy, right? Right here next to it is some money, some currency, this is currency that we will get if we work, okay? And then in here, these are activities, and basically activities are, well, activities that our character can do. Uh, to do them, to be able to do an activity, we're going to have to consume, like it says right here on the top, and basically we're going to consume the materials we've bought to be able to do some of these activities. I'm just going to shuffle and then place a few activities right here, surrounding our activity deck. And as you can see, each activity, let me try to zoom in a little bit. Each activity has two colors right here on the top. So these are the colors uh, of the materials that we will have to consume in order to be able to fulfill said activity. Uh, how do we consume a material? As you can see, on the sides of each of the materials, there are these little dots. This represents the quality of a material. So if I have uh, this right, right here in this position, this glass means that it is a quality four glass. It's the one on top. If I want to consume it, I'll just flip it. And now I've consumed one dot, uh, one glass, and now it's a quality three, okay? So that's basically it uh, in terms of consuming materials in order to do activities. And so, as you can see, this is already looks like a loop. So we are going to have to get some money by working. Then we're going with the said money, we're going to buy some materials and then using those materials to consume and do some activities. Now, these activities have a, f a little reward right here on the bottom, as you can see, which will basically give us happiness. And they are going to uh, help us keep this track going up, okay? Once we reach 12, we're going to win. So, besides doing activities, we can also gain happiness from our goals, all right? Uh, and on the solo mode, we are going to have four goals, okay? These are not uh, something that you are forced to do. This is just uh, a little help for us to get happiness, okay? So these are optional, but if we can do them, uh, well, better for us, right? And basically the goals are going to ask us usually for some symbols, and uh, you, I'll, I'll show you that in a second. So I have one, two, three, and four, okay? So these are my four goals for the game. I can just throw these other ones into the box and this is what we got so we got something like this and basically each of the goals or goals uh, have these symbols right here on the top left these are the symbols that we're going to have to acquire and keep in our board right here in our activities we're, we can have three activities stored in our board at all times and basically uh, their symbols will have to uh, in total uh, match our goals. So I could have a healthy lifestyle if I had uh, a total of two hearts and two houses right here on my stored activities. And the same goes for the other goals, okay? We can do more than one per turn or we can just do one goal each turn or we might do none depending on how the game goes, okay? But this is what we are basically striving for, okay? These four goals. That's what we are going to try to do to get a bit more happiness. So uh, how do we do that? Well, basically we're going to each turn do one mandatory action, either working, buying or consuming, okay? And then we can use these uh, favorite cards, which are used only in the solo mode, uh, to help us with, well, certain free actions. Um, I'll explain each of the cards as we go through it, all right? So that's going to be basically it. We're just missing one component here, which is our event deck. 
every single time our happiness tracks uh, it is the, the the track is divided into three sections let me try to show you that a little bit better okay there's this little line here so every time we cross uh, into a different section either going forward or backwards okay we're going to pick up one of these event cards okay and we're going to place said event i don't really want to see it and we're going to place it right here next to our character at the end of that turn we're going to read every single event card that we draw okay uh, maybe on that same turn we go forward we skip into the next section like this and then maybe we lose some happiness because we have worked and we go back so that means we would draw two events for that turn all right and we're going to store them here only at the end of the turn do we actually read all of them all right so that's basically it for a very quick overview of how to play loop uh solo mode so i've Oh, oh, something I, I actually forgot is this little card here. We have our credit card here. So this, this is a free action. This is something that we can do at any time. We can ask for uh, a credit, a credit card. What this will give us is four money, okay, immediately to use. And it will give us also one material at our choice at uh, quality one from the buy area. But there's a downside as always uh, there is with these credit cards every single turn we are forced to pay either one coin or two coins back into the credit card okay and uh we're going to have to pay a total of five when the card has five coins in it it's paid it is paid off if we have any credit cards at the end of the game we immediately lose why well because to win the game it's not just getting to, to uh, happiness 12 okay we as we reach happiness 12 or the depletion uh, occurs we're going to have to look at our happiness and we're going to apply a few um, negative modifiers. So one of them is minus two points if we have a credit card. OK, we have minus one point if we reach the bleach depletion and we're going to have one minus point as well for each uh, set of three materials we get on our landfill. OK, and I'll explain how they end up in here. So basically, after uh, subtracting all of those penalties, if we have um, 11, 11 happiness, we're going to win. If not, we're going to lose. So basically, we can only have a one point uh, penalty at the end of the game. Meaning, since the credit card is uh, minus two, if we have one, we immediately lose the game. All right. So we have to pay off all our debts until the end of the game. If not, things will not go too well. All right. So that is it. Let me just place my goals here so as not to create too much confusion with them. And with that said, I think we are ready to go. Let's begin the playthrough. We're going to look, first of all, uh, at my uh, starting uh, money and materials at the bonus that I start with. In this case, I start with one money. I'll place it right here and a material at a level or quality two. We're going to just pick a material from here. It's going to be a random one. Uh, it is some metal, okay? And we're going to flip it up to where it has two dots on the top, meaning this is a material two that we are, are going to put here and we can use to uh, consume on later turns, all right? So that is it. That's our setup. That's what we start with. So. A good thing to do at the start is to look at our goals here and see if there's any uh, activities that uh, will help us do any of our goals. So I got a lot of these ones that actually give us two happiness. So a healthy lifestyle, environmental awareness, family education. So these are cool because they give us uh, two happiness. They are harder to do because having these four symbols with only three activities isn't easy but uh let's see if we can get a few of these and then we have the family as well goal which will be a bit easier we just need three houses so basically we're going to need a lot of houses because family needs three and then family education and a healthy lifestyle uh, needs two each so it's a good thing to start getting a few houses so either houses with hearts or houses with books so home movie is a house and a book. We don't have any house and heart and we will need. Okay, so home home movie is definitely something that I will want to get. This is going to be a priority for me. 
All right, so basically I need uh, some utilities and some glass, a yellow and green materials. All right, we have a few in here, sorry. So let's see if we can get them. Okay, we only have one money at the start. So you know what? I'm just going to go and get a credit card right away, just so I can get get me started here on a little bit of money. So this is going to give me one, two, three, and four. So that's four money, okay, that we can use. And I will also, so I'll, there's one, one money that I will have to, let me push this up a little bit. I'm going to have to use one money uh, on this turn to pay off the credit card. So I'm going to kind of keep this one on the side so I don't forget, which sometimes I do. Uh, and now I'm going to get a material uh, at my choice at level 1. So I'm going to need houses, and I'm looking at the other houses. There's two reds, two grays, okay? So, yeah, I'll either need just a green or a yellow. I think I'm going to go for just one green here. So I'll, I'll pick the glass, all right? Okay, so that's the bonus also from my credit card, besides these four coins here. All right, so what else do I want to do here? So uh, these cards, you can play them at any time. And actually, let me just show you uh, what they do. So these are five cards. Uh, we have the share here. If we play it, we use a one quality of any material in the buy area to consume. We then move this material to the landfill if, if it is broken. So basically what this does is, I can use one material here, a quality. They're all at level one, so they would break if I use them. Uh, they would go into my landfill, and this would allow me to do a consume uh, action. So I could consume something here, okay? Use my materials to consume. That's the share card, the share favor card. I could acquire as well. So I could basically take a material from the buy area, pay money equal to its quality, okay? So basically, if I paid four coins, I could take a quality four plastic, two coins, a quality two utility, up to my choice. I could resell something, uh, which would allow me to move a material from my area, okay, from my uh, material area here, to the bottom of this deck, and I would get money equal to its quality. So ba basically, if I have something that I don't really want, I can just get that money back, all right? That is the resell. I also have the border, so I could ex exchange one material with the buy area that has same or less quality, which is okay uh, if I really need a specific color and I don't have it and then I have the renew I could take any material from the central landfill which is this one right here pay double uh, to the work area so I basically lose a bit of money for its quality so basically this helps me remove stuff from my landfill and clean it up a little bit okay uh, and my ability is once per turn I can change one of my uh, one of my materials into any non-food material okay food is the red one so i can change the color to anything but red so that's handy already because i can already do the home movie if i want to but I, i'm not going to use it just yet so i can use these at any time and on this turn i think i'll work that's going to be my mandatory action, okay? Remember, I'm forced to do one of these, either work, buy, or consume. When I work, I get these bonuses right here on uh, on my character, my career cards. So that would be for money, and I would lose a happiness. I could buy, and that means I would spend money, uh, and I could buy three materials, okay? Their quality would be determined by the money I spend to each of them. And then I could, or I could consume, uh, and I basically could do a maximum of three activities consuming uh, all of the materials that I have, or, well, the, the conjunction of required materials. Okay, but for now, yes, I will immediately work. So that means I'm going to lose one happiness. So we start at three, I'm going down to two, but I am getting four coins here. Okay, one, two, three, and four. There we go. Now I will uh, use some of these, actually, no, sorry, what am I saying here? I'm not working just yet. Why am I not working just yet? Because when you work, these cards are, uh, they. you expand these cards. Uh, when you use them, they stay right here. They are not usable uh, immediately. 
you have to work to get all your cards back okay so i am actually sorry going to use a few cards and then i'll work to get them back so i will actually use my acquire okay so i will take a material from the buy area and i i will pay money equal to the quality that i want to have in here so for now i will buy so i think i'll just spend three which is well not that little so i'll spend three money and i'm going to get a oh but this huh maybe i won't spend three actually here's what i'm thinking i already have the green i need the yellow so yeah Will I spend three for the yellow? Hmm. I don't really need the yellow. It's it's a bit of a shame that these are all so mixed up like this. Yeah, I'll 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 go for the yellow. I'll spend three. Oops, sorry. Three. So I now have a utility, okay, with three quality. Uh that is one card so i could use a quality in the buy area to consume i don't want to do that right now move this to the bottom of the deck don't really want to do it either so hmm. so basically i'm trying to set myself up to do a consume here and get my home movie and then do the gym as well uh, using my ability to, to change uh, one of these into another color so that's what basically what i'm trying to set myself up to do uh so yeah i think that's it i'm not really going to change anything here nor play any more cards so now i will then uh, work so my happiness would go down to two okay it starts at three it would go down to two i get my acquire back and i get one two three four coins okay there we go all right so that was my turn okay i could still play more cards more of these cards if i wanted to but i really don't want to so after uh after you finish up your actions uh we're going to look and see if we did any of our goals we didn't i don't have any activities in here so no symbols to be able to uh, accomplish any of my goals just yet um, so basically what we do here is we're going to uh, have to pay sorry we're going to have to pay for the credit card now I can choose to pay one or two coins on this turn and in a future turn I'm just going to pay one for now okay so that's one coin in here you always have to pay something if I couldn't if I didn't have any money to pay this credit card I would be forced to get another one to get four money to pay this one okay so it's it's another loop here in the game if you don't have money you're gonna have to borrow some more which uh which is a bummer okay so that is it now we're going to replenish the materials okay in every single turn we're going to burn one material card okay so this is kind of a timer that is you know rushing us to uh to accomplish our goals and do uh better and faster all right so that's it the now we'll go for another turn another round is about to start okay so on this turn i think I, my action will be to consume on this turn because again i can at least do two of these i won't be able to do three but two will be good now i i do have to start getting some food uh, to be able to get this family dinner done and i can buy the food because i do have a bit of money here so i will actually use my uh my barter here oh, not my barter sorry i will use my acquire so i'm using another favor and now it's going to be stuck in there because i'm not uh, going to work on this round but i will use my acquire well actually i don't i is there a point in actually using the acquire right now well actually there is yes there is so i will use it all right acquire take one material from the buy area and pay money equal to its quality all right so i am going to put this here i'm going to pay how many coins i'm going to pay three coins although this is risky but i will i will pay three coins okay and i'm going to get this 
whose quality three. Okay, there we go. All right, now, now I will do my action. So let's consume, all right? Okay, so I can consume, I can do up to three activities. So my first activity is going to be home movie. So I am going to flip my utility. It's going, uh, so it was level three, now it's level two. And I'm going to use my glass. It's only a level one, so it's going to break. And basically it's going to come into my landfill, unfortunately, okay? But that means that we've managed to complete this home movie. So I'm going to pick this up and place it here on my activity board. On, yes, on my activity space on my player board. And as you can see, home movie gives us one happiness, okay? So that means I can slide this right here into the right. All right, so that's one happiness we've got back. Uh, and that was one of the consumes. Second consume will be uh will be food material yes so the second one will be i'll try to do the gym so basically what i'll do is i'm using this metal and i'm using my ability once per turn i can change one of my uh material into any non-food material so i'm using i'm changing the utility into metal okay so that makes both of these uh, gray. That means I can flip them and I can do the gym, which requires two gray, okay? So that is also done. And that gives us one more happiness. So I can slide this here. Okay, and last but not least, I'm actually going to do the family dinner as well because I can you can do uh, play these cards in between your actions uh, uh, during your uh, mandatory action, and I will. Oh no, I won't. No, I can't. I can't do this, unfortunately. Yeah, I can't do it. I would. I would need a food here. So yeah, I won't be able to do this sec. This uh, third consume, unfortunately. Uh, use a quality to buy or consume. Yeah, I won't be able to. Okay, so that's it. So that's two consumes. Uh, that's not bad. We've got a bit of happiness here. We're very, very close uh, to getting the this one done, the family. So not too shabby, actually. Not, not too bad. All right, so we're done with this. So now, uh, did we complete any goals? No, not yet. So do we do have to pay up uh, a bit to our credit card debt. So there we go, a bit of money there. Uh, and we're going now have to refill all of these spaces on the board uh, and a few more activities. Okay, there we go. Food bank, that's good, is it? No, not really, not too. Not too great. All right. And we're going to, again, burn one of these material cards. That is done. And now we begin another round. Okay. So we still need a house. So we got one here. We got one here. So this one is, uh, well, harder to do. This one is a little bit easier, although not too, not that easy. Uh, we could. Ch I can use my ability to get this one done because I can change something into green. But I am filling up my landfill quite uh, quite fast, which is not ideal. So, hmm, what do I want to do here? Okay, what is this? Okay. So I think I might not uh, I might not consume just yet. Yeah, I probably won't consume this turn. I can't acquire because yeah, I might work actually this turn just to get a little bit of money back. I'm going to lose one happiness, but four money isn't too bad. Uh, it's not too bad. I could try to... I could try to do this. Where is it? The share. Although share would allow me to use a quality of something that is here in the buy area to do a consume. 
I'm not sure if that's if that's a good choice right now because it would mean that I would break another uh, one of these materials they would go into my landfill which is not great hmm so maybe I won't do that just yet so I think I will I think I'll work because I will have to eventually uh, so if I work, I'm going to get this back. Do I want to use another card before that? Yeah, so I'll just work. So I'm losing one happiness. I'm getting four coins. One, two, three, and four. Okay, now I have a little bit of money, a bit more leniency. I do get my acquire card back, my favor. So I think this is can, it's going to be a bit of a, a weaker zone for me. I think that's it. I really am not going to do anything else on this turn. I'm going to peg one more coin into my credit card. I don't need to refill anything, so I just need to burn a material. And that is my turn. So I'm going to start another round. And on this one, I will try to do a bit of consuming. Uh, so for that, I will need some happiness. So I'm going to try and get this family dinner done. Okay which will uh, actually give me uh, it's going to give me the family right then I did so two houses with either books or hearts house with books hmm So then I need a book, which I only have one here. Okay. So I need two blues. That's not good. It's quite a bit, but I think I can do something about it. All right. So let's go. Let's play an acquire. Okay. I'm going to acquire for two. I'll pay two. And I'll get this food at level two. And now I'm going to consume. That will be my action for this turn. And I will consume this. Okay, so two foods. And we will do a family dinner. Fantastic. So that means one happiness for me. Because that is the reward for each of the activities. They're all the same. Okay, that's one consume. Yes. Okay, now I will use my ability which is once per turn I can change any uh, one of my uh, materials into any non-food. Okay, so I can change one of these into uh, green, the glass, uh, which is exactly what I will do. So I'm changing what? Let's just change this food right here into green, okay? Uh, and now that means that I can consume this and this to do the food bank fantastic so this is done now since we, this is pretty much filled we can choose uh, where I want to put the food bank and I can replace any uh, any one of these so it doesn't really matter here I'll just place it like this even though I already had uh, three houses and I could do the family you always need to uh, be doing more activities because they will give you more happiness okay that means that's one more happiness we're going to Past this threshold here, okay, we've just entered another um, another section of happiness in our board. That means that I will take one of these events, I'll place it here, we're going to resolve it at the end of the turn. All right, now I can still do one more consume, but I don't think, well, actually, I am able to do one more, and I will. Because now I can do this. I can exchange one material with the by area, uh, with by area with some or less quality uh, from mine. And there's this beach clean right here at the bottom. It requires a yellow and a blue. So I can actually exchange one of my materials. But my landfill is getting filled really quickly though. Which is not ideal. Um, not at all. But oh well. So yeah, I think I will do that. So I will, I will do the barter. I will exchange materials. So I'm going to take this metal. No, not the metal. 
I'll have to I'll exchange the food with a plastic, okay? And now I'll do my third consume, which is to use this util utility and plastic. They go into here, so I already have four, which is pretty bad. But I did get to do... Uh, oh no, but I don't want to do this, because that's... Sorry, sorry, sorry. That will prevent me from finish, finishing the family. So no, I won't be doing any of that. Apologies. Oops. My mistake. There we go. All right. So we're done. I'm just doing two consumes yet. Yeah, because now, at the end of my action, we're going to check if I did any goals. And I did. I can make this goal right here, family. Because we have three activities on our board that depict a house. Okay. So we have three houses. Family is completed. So we just put the uh, accomplished goals in here. And I get the reward, which is, in this case, one happiness right there at the bottom right. So one more happiness. Great. All right. We're at six happiness now. We're halfway through. Still three goals to do. Now, credit card. I have to pay. So one money goes there. I still have one left. Uh, and what else uh, is there to do on this turn? I have to refill the material, refill the activities. I have to burn one of the material cards and now I can see my event. Let's see what we got. So we got redeem bonus. All right, we can, we may pay and choose to buy something from the buy area. Okay, if we spend one, we get a material, one material at quality one. If we spend two money, we would get this and draw a favor. Uh, drawing a favor on solo, maybe uh, we would get this back, I guess. That would be good. Uh, or if we had three money, we could get another other bonuses. I only have one. So basically, I have a, to make a choice. Do I want to buy a material at quality one or not? I don't really see a point. I'll be honest. I don't want stuff at, at level one. It's going to uh, be spent very quickly and it's going to fill uh, my landfill. I don't really want more stuff in here. So no, I'm not going to uh, do this. So this is just a, an instant event, okay? There's a little bit of flavor text here if you want to read it. Uh, but I will not take this, uh, this opportunity. I will not buy anything. I'll just put it here on the discard pile. And I think that is it. So let me just need to put this a bit more neat. And there we go. Let's go for another round. Okay, so on this one, so we're a bit low on cash. As you can see, it's kind of a loop here. We keep on pushing our happiness back a little bit just so we can get money to get more materials. Uh, so what am I going to do here? So I definitely need more money. So I will uh, do some work. And I will right now, I'm going to resell. So I'm going to take one of my materials. Okay, I'm going to place them uh, on the bottom of the material deck and I'm going to get one money back. Because for one, I don't want this to just get spent uh, too quickly. And I'll actually sell the metal. Uh, I don't want it to get to spend stuff too quickly. It's going to fill my uh, landfill and it's going to deplete this really quickly. So there you go. One less card and one money for me. And now... What am I going to do here? So I guess I'll work once again. So that's four more coins. One, two, three, and four. Okay, I have six money total. So this credit card is, will be done this turn. I could renew, I could barter to exchange something here. Oh, I did just work, so I got these back. Uh, and that's it. That is my turn, I think. I'm not really going to do much on this one. Okay, so I will pay up my credit card. That's five money. That's done. I'm not going to have to spend any more money with these credit cards. Thank goodness. This goes back here. Uh, I will have to burn one material card. And let's go for another round. Okay. All right, so let's try to do some of these goals here. And I can do this one with the family dinner. I will be able to do the family education. 
Well, I just need a book, so I, I either need two yellows, two reds, or two blues. I can I can change something to non-food. So I can change this food to a utility and do the snorkeling with my ability. So I can already do this if I want to. But I would like to buy some material some materials, yeah. That would be good. To accomplish a few things more. Uh so I will. Hmm. So I'm going to do a buy on this round, I guess. I have five money. I'm really low on money. Am I going to work? No, nah, I'm not going to work again. Will I? Oh boy. Now I'll buy some some things here. So I will. I can buy up to three. I'll probably just buy two. Will that be enough to get me through? Oof, I don't know if it will. I don't know if it will. So yeah, but I will do I will do a buy. I won't consume just yet because I want to save my actions as much as I can. So for this one, I'm going to do a buy. So I have five money here. Hmm. Yeah, five money. Yeah, okay. So I'll do a buy and I'll buy two uh, two items, two materials. One quality three and another one quality two. So I'll buy a utility with quality three. And I'll buy a plastic with quality two. Yes, okay. That is it. That's my turn, right? Yes. I don't want to resell anything. I really don't want to use my favors on this one. So let me just replenish this. It's getting awfully thin, which is worrisome. Oops, worrisome. Okay, so I discarded my material. Oof, it's really thin here. All right, back to another round. Let's see how we get uh, on this one. I definitely want to consume right now because I have quite a bit of material in here. All right, so let's do that. So my action for this turn is going to be a consume. Let's see if I did this right. Uh, so first thing that I will consume is. So I want to do I have two houses. Two houses. All right. Yes. Two books or two hearts at the end. All right. So two houses, uh, that means that I will consume this one first. So this goes, uh, I'll do the beach clean. So that goes to two, this goes to one. I'll do the beach clean and I'll replace this one, the food bank. Okay, so that's one happiness to me. There we go. Uh, now I will, so that's one consume. So I need the family dinner. Or the snorkeling at the end of my turn. Okay. Oh, I can't do the family dinner. I can't. Okay. So that means that. Okay. Yeah. That's all right. That's my plan. So once per turn, change one of your materials into any non food. So I'm going to change my food into plastic. Okay. Yes, plastic. That means this one becomes blue. And now I can use these two blue cards. They go into my landfill, but I am able to do the game activity, which I am doing actually. So there we go. That's one more happiness for us. Okay. And for my last consume of the turn, I'm going to consume these two utilities. So this one is gone. This one becomes a one and I'll do the snorkeling. There you go. So that's one more happiness. So we did a lot of stuff here on this turn. There we go. One more. Phew. Okay, good. Uh, actually, that's one, two. Right, fantastic. Yes. Great. This went according to plan. All right. So now we're going to check, did we, um, did we do any of our goals? And guess what? Yes, we did. Quite a few. So if we look at family education, 
it requires two houses and two uh, books. If we look at our board, we have two houses. There we go. And one book, two books. Okay, so that's done. That's two happiness. So one, two. That means we've passed across that threshold. We get one event. All right. But that's, that's not all. If you look at the environmental awareness, it needs two books and two leaves. And if you look at our board, we got one, two books, one, two leaves. So we managed to do two of these uh, goals, these two um, happiness goals in the same turn. This was great because that means we got to 12. There we go. We just got to 12. Fantastic. Now, I wish... I wish I had some money to maybe uh, clean up my landfill. Unfortunately, I don't have any money, so I can't really uh, do anything about this. So we've reached happiness 12. That means we got to the uh, goal, uh, the end game. We've triggered the end of the game. Um, I can still look at this event uh, before we do the math, just to show you uh, a bit of the diversity in the events. Landfill tax. Player loses one money per material sent to his landfill. Okay, so this is a continuing effect, okay? It doesn't apply to what I have here. But if I were to send more stuff into my landfill, that means that I would lose one coin per material. So thank God this uh, didn't come up earlier. <laughs> Must apply a credit card if you cannot afford. This would be a continuous effect. It would be uh, right here triggering every single time we sent something to the landfill. All right, so that's the end of the game. So let's check our penalties and see if we can keep our happiness on 11 or above so credit cards remember that would be minus two points we don't have any credit cards to pay off they're all paid off we paid our debts we're good to go on that part the depletion would be minus one point but we didn't reach the depletion we still had how many materials we had three material cards in here that we could deplete so we were close but we didn't deplete it so no minus points in here and then landfill. Remember, it's minus one per set of three uh, materials. And we have one, two, three. That's minus one happiness. We go up to, we go down to 11. And then one, two. So we didn't finish up the second set. That means that we did not get minus two from the landfill. We only got minus one. Okay. So you're okay with five. If you reach six materials, then you're getting the minus two. And that means we made it. We've actually won. So we got the minus one. That was enough to go to happiness uh, 11, which has this little blue flag. It means that this is a win. All right. And that is a solo playthrough of um, Loop. We still had a goal to do, so we could still get some more happiness here. So yeah, this is basically uh, the rundown of how to play Loop uh, in solo mode. Right, but that's not all that the solo mode actually has to offer in the game. Um, actually, something I didn't mention, you might have noticed that these favors, or maybe you didn't, these aren't uh, exactly the same quality as the rest of the game. These are were actually printed by me, okay? This did not come in the... Um, in uh, the prototype, I had to print them. These were uh, made after. And also, uh, along with these favor cards that you only use on solo, uh, you also have these. These are solo objectives. So this is the basic solo game. If you want to, you can just play up to happiness 12 and then count your penalties, see if you won or not. Or you can take up uh, all of these challenges. So the, these are solo challenges. You have these three really hard ones. Two medium ones and then two easier, uh, three easier ones, sorry. Three of each difficulty rank, okay? And basically they change up how you win. So if we just have a quick look at one of these, uh, one of these solo goals. Remember, this was just printed by me, okay? This is a print and play card, basically. Uh, so this would change how the game would go. Uh, extravagance, you, your setup isn't changed. But then on the gameplay, there is a variation. You lose one money when you buy and lose one quality when you consume, okay? So, oof, this would be really hard, okay? Uh, yeah, every single time you do the buy action, you would lose one money. Yeah, this would be hard, definitely. Uh, definitely a hard game. So, uh, basically, you have these variation. There are nine of them uh, for the solo game uh, to spice things up a little bit. So, that was the solo playthrough for Loop, Life of Ordinary People. Remember, Loop 
will be on Kickstarter uh, April 2nd, so that's very, very soon. Uh, if you were interested in, uh, in the game from this playthrough, uh, drop by the, the Kickstarter campaign, have a look at the game and see uh, if it's worth backing for you or not. I hope my video was informative and it helped you make a decision in that sense. All right, so that is it for me. If you have any questions regarding loop and the gameplay or the rules or, well, anything related to the solo mode, at least I hope I can help, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. If I can't answer them, I'll ask help from Black Body Labs for sure to try to help you with any doubts you may have. So yeah, that's it from me. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel. I have all sorts of uh, solo board game content here on Solo Quests. And uh, yeah, hope to see you all in the next one. And until then, everyone, stay safe. So long. Bye-bye.